Good afternoon. <laughs> and welcome to our National Honor Society induction ceremony. My name is Jeff Tullock. I'm the principal of the P-TECH Academy, and I want to start the evening by thanking our staff and our guests for attending today. And I'd like to congratulate our students for having the skills necessary to be inducted into the National Honor Society. As you will notice, our ceremony is being recorded so that it can be available for anyone that could not make it today or is not in attendance today. Uh, with that being said, at this time, I would like to introduce our National Honor Society Vice President, Nick Williams. Please be seated. <laughs> Ms. Robin Brown, Mr. Leo File, Mr. Jeffrey Tillock, Ms. Anna Marie Riggie, Ms. Erin Moynihan, Ms. Hope Smith, and Ms. Whitney Heiss from East Solutions Furniture Post Industries and Students. Welcome to the 2024 and National Honor Society induction ceremony. We are gathered here. Speak up. We are gathered here to formally. Okay, that's not wrong. <laughs> this is a hard room. <laughs> We are gathered here to formally recognize these students who have been selected by the faculty of our school for successfully completing their candidacy and are being inducted as members of the N this NHS chapter. For current members and those members who may be among our guests, we hope this will serve to remind you of the standards of excellence you two are charged with maintaining as members of the nation's oldest, largest, and most prestigious student recognition program. Please rise and join Seamus Vitrio for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, and indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you, Seamus. You may be seated. I would like now, uh, I would now like to introduce our current members and new inductees. Current members, if you're in attendance, please stand and be recognized as I call your name. Felix Manzella, Riley Diate, Derek Miller, Christopher Wilty, Ethan Warblow, Nate Valiente, and Jared Seth. New inductees, please stand and be recognized as I call your name. Maya Benjamin. Parker Bone, Paul Cunningham, Paul Godomino, Noah Hardy, Max Hansen Ivan, Jackson Laurie, Aaron Misakanya, Seamus Matuio, Brandon Knobs, and John Pinkowski. Thank you. You may be seated. Please welcome Ms. Robin Brown, Director of Instructional Support Services, who played a pivotal role, pivotal, pivotal role in the creation of PTEC. Hello everyone, I'm Robin Brown, Director of Instructional Support Services and also Acting Superintendent of Curriculum and Instruction for Erie 2 BOCES. I want to start by thanking National Honor Society advisor Anne Marie Rigby for all her work behind the scenes preparing the ceremony each year and for being an encouraging and supportive presence for our PTEC students. Thank you to PTEC principal Jeff Tellick, director of CTE, PTEC and Program Innovation Leo File, and our dedicated PTEC staff. Your collective commitment and dedication to the wonderful program help make it the special place that it is today. And I want you to know that your efforts are not just noticed, but appreciated. Lastly, I want to thank everyone here today for supporting the students we're here to celebrate. When we created PTEC over eight years ago now, it was founded on the powerful belief that a single school can equip high school students with all the tools they need to succeed academically and thrive in their careers and in life. 
It's not just a building or a teacher or a single friend who can support each of these students alone. It's a collective. Everyone in this room has had a role to play in these students' success. And based on what I know, we're all doing our part because they are seated before us today and being recognized for this great honor. They have pushed themselves in the classroom to become scholars among their peers. And that drive is, no doubt, fueled not only by their effort to continuously improve academically, but also by the support systems they have in place. Everyone here has played a role in this great achievement. To our newly inducted National Honor Society members, today's celebration is only the beginning for you. Use this moment and the feelings of pride that you so rightfully deserve to motivate you as you continue your journey through the PTEC program and onward into your career. Thank you all for having me here today. Once again, congratulations to the newest inductees into the Western New York PTEC chapter of the National Honor Society. Our chapter is proud of the inducting members since 2018, and today's ceremony indicates the continuing, continuing emphasis on excellence that we represent our school and community. Throughout the year, members of our chapter serve as role models for other students. In addition to the strong academic records which establish the eligibility membership, our chapter members are leaders in many student organizations and serve our school and community, though many activities including an outdoor campus cleanup, as well as sending holiday cards to deployed military and packing backpacks at the teacher's desk. We are proud of this record of accomplishments, especially during these difficult COVID years, and welcome these new members to bring energy and support for continuing work as NHS members. It is at this time that we proclaim that to all in attendance that membership of the Western New York PTAC STEM Academy chapter of the National Honor Society has been earned by these candidates through the effective demonstration of the four qualities that serve as standards for the society. The candidates will now re review these qualities. We'll begin with scholarship. I would like to introduce Joshua Guadango and Paul Cunningham. Scholarship that, um, you know, it's a commitment to learning. A student is willing to spend hours of reading and studying, that lasting benefit, knowing the lasting benefits of cultivating mind. We, we should continue to learn even when formal education is in it for human education and only with the end of life. Knowledge is one great element of life which leads to a high success and it can be acquired in only one way for diligence and effort. Learning furnishes the land by which we read the past, the torch guiding us to understand the present, and the light that illuminates the future. Candidates have the ch um, charge to continually expand the world through the opportunity, opportunities inherent in scholarship. As Benjamin Franklin once said, an investment is, and knowledge always pays the best interest. Uh, a creation of 
of the uh, battle tomorrow. As Albu Saibuin said, I don't know what your destiny will be, but one thing I do know, the only ones among you who will be really happy are those who have sought and found and have to solve. Jackson Laurie and Noah Hardy. Leadership should exert wholesome influence on the school in taking initiative in the classroom and the school activities. The real leaders strive to train and aid others to reach their common goals of success. The price of leadership is sacrifice, the willingness to yield one's personal interests for the interests of others. A leader has self-confidence and will go forward when others hesitate. No matter what power and resource may exist at any school, community, or nation, they are ineffectual without the guidance of a wise leader. Leadership is always needed, thus, to lead meaningful and substantive charge to each of our members. As Jack Welch once said, before you are a leader, before you are a leader, success is about growing yourself. When you become a leader, success is about growing others. Thank you, Noah and Jackson. Finally, we have character. I would like to introduce Aaron Masakanya and Parker Bo. Character is the force within the individual that distinguishes each person from others. It creates for each of us our individuality, our goodness. It is that without which no one can respect oneself nor hope to attain the respect of others. It is this force of character that guides one through life and, once developed, grows steadily within. Character is achieved and not received. It is the product of constant thought and action, the daily striving to make the right choice. The problem of character is the problem of self-control. We must be in reality what we wish to appear to others, to be rather than to seem. By demonstrating such qualities as respect, responsibility, trustworthiness, fairness, caring, and citizenship, we may hope to prove by example that we value character. As Heraclitus said, the content of your character is your choice. Day by day, what you choose, what you think, and what you do is who you become. Mr. Leo File, Director of P-Tech, CTE, and Program Innovation as he recites the National Honor Society Pledge. Hello, Mr. Speaker, P-Tech National Honor Society inductees of 2324. Please repeat after me as I guide you through the National Honor Society Pledge. I pledge to uphold the high purposes of the National Honor Society, to which I have been selected. I will be true to the principles for which it stands. And will maintain and encourage the high standards of scholarship, of scholarship, leadership, leadership, service, service, and character. And character. Thank you. You may all be seated. School Guidance Counselor, who will fasten your NHS pen. To be assisted by Mr. Leo File, inductees, as your name is called, please join Ms. Monahan and Ms. 
file, just a file, after you've been pinned, please be seated. Maya Benjamin, Jumper, Cat. Parker Bum, Dunkirk, Mechatronics. Since coming to Key Tech as a freshman, these students have excelled in their academic studies and in their overall school performance. They have become leaders of the student body, setting an example for new students and for returning students of Western New York Key Tech. Being inducted into the National Honor Society is a way that we recognize student excellence and leadership. Students. This induction will become part of your permanent record that you can use in the future for college and or employment. Beyond this, each of you should take great pride in this day. You have worked hard to be part of the ceremony today. Your excellence as students, 
with young adults are formally recognized. On behalf of Erie Two Boses and the P Tech family, congratulations on your accomplishments. Thank you. And now, please welcome P Tech graduates Hope Smith and Whitney Heiss, who will offer some remarks. Hope Smith. I am representing uh, Bush Industries as their engineering technician and former Key Tech graduate. I'd like to start off by graduating the upcoming Auto Society inductees. I remember years ago when I was in the exact same position as them and feeling incredibly proud, and you should feel proud as well. I know these accomplishments don't come with a light work. I know the time and effort it takes to be put into a program like this and I want to recognize that effort it takes. A few years ago was about the time that I started my internship at Bush Industries that allowed me to be in the position I am today. And I know that with the hard work and dedication that these students have demonstrated, that they could find their own opportunities in whatever field they would choose to pursue in the future. I'd like to take a moment to um, highlight the opportunity that PTAC has given, not only the students, but the industry themselves. Please take advantage of all opportunities that PTEC gives you. There is a lot of experience that you can gain from this program and a lot of uh, connections that you can make in uh, many different industries and in the real world. This program has been a great success and I'd like to, again, honor those new students who have continued the integrity of PTEC and congratulate them on that. Thank you so much. Thank you everyone. My name is Whitney Heiss and I currently represent Bush Industries East Solutions Furniture today as Inside Sales Administrator. I began at Bush Industries about three years ago, almost. It was about, I want to say, right after I graduated. I jumped in from having a program and backing to finally moving into the, new, into the real world and getting that first job. I remember filling out many applications and one of the highlight points that I always had on it was my experience with the P-Tech Academy. And they would always ask you about it in your interviews and say, well, what did you learn? What did you have from this experience and what can you take forward with you to grow you know, your potential with the company, but also the potential within yourself? I remember sitting in these interviews and then thinking back on what this program has truly brought for me. And I remember that day back in Mr. Green's health class, seventh grade, the year before I was even eligible to become a student within this program and apply, just hearing about this program from a quick 30 minute talk from Mr. Stock as he went around the districts trying to raise this idea that was only on paper at the time into a full-fledged program. I remember walking into the doors that first day in the Summer Bridge program to a room, very small, four classrooms, three offices, and a large room. Honestly, the gymnasium, maybe one and a half, that was all we had at the time. But we made it work. We laid the foundations to really grow this program, and it, I love coming back every time. I love being invited by the teachers, by the old staff, and truly seeing what this program has become. Because I've seen it be able to be the small classroom, 60 students maybe most at the time. I think it was even lower than that, 50. But being able to see that as we walked into this building, no furniture, no nothing, just being able to see the guidelines, and then now walking in today with a shop that I could have never imagined possible during my time here, I honestly, I'm quite jealous of all that you have now. <laughs> because we started with the bare foundations and now the amount of resources you guys have to take advantage of, the amount of networking you're able to do now to help further you in your career later is extraordinary. Where we had a couple businesses interested, now there's the entire backing of Western New York's uh, manufacturing and several other industries that are interested in this program as we begin to grow the pathways that we allow the 
expand our reach. I mean, with our sister school up in near the Buffalo area, this, going back to that day in seventh grade, I would have never thought this would be possible. But what I want to leave off with you guys and what I think is the foundation of all P-Tech students is the going from what do I want to do in my future to who do I want to be? It's more of looking at things of who do I want to be? Where do I want to go? And you really need to take that and that's what's going to grow you as a character. P-Tech offers you the opportunities, but it's up to you to say, I want to do it. I want to go forward. And even with P-Tech Academy and what we offer you out the gate, finishing that two year program in the JCC section in that degree, okay, you may look at it and go, I don't kind, I don't want to work on the line or I may not want to work in the engineering. That's okay. We just want to see you become better, but you can also take that degree and go so much further. You can take that and go into a four year, six year program. You can take that and go into an apprenticeship with any of our welding possibilities or other places. You can get them to actually even sometimes pay for that further schooling. Or you can say, all right, at the base core of what I have, what do I like? For me, that was doing design work. I took my degree, I became a space planner. I didn't do any of the technological, I can't say I get the break stuff like Hope or the experiences she had, but I took that and said, I like designing stuff. I like putting layouts. So you start small within somewhere a company and then you grow from there. From there, I've uh, gained two new positions and was able to grow with Bush Industries into where I am now. But just remember, at the end of the day, it is you who has to decide that you want this opportunity. It is you who has to push yourself forward to become the best person that you want to be. And I hope that in a couple days when you're graduated from here, you're able to look back and truly see that in yourself and say, I took advantage of everything that I had and never leave with a what if. Thank you. kind remarks. And now, please welcome our new principal, Mr. Jeffrey Chalk, who will offer congratulatory remarks to the new members. Thank you. Inductees, congratulations to each of you, to your parents and guardians on this honor. Today serves as a formal acknowledgement of your achievement in scholarship leadership, community service, and character. You've earned the privilege of becoming part of the National Honor Society. You've joined over a million students from all 50 states in, the, in this society. Did you know that Carrie Underwood, Taylor Swift, uh, former First Lady Michelle Obama, and baseball legend Cal Ripken Jr. all were members of the National Honor Society? So you're joining a very prestigious group. As individuals, we'd like you to proudly celebrate this induction and honor, but realize that there are many people who helped you get here today. Most notably, parents and guardians, all these people that support you in your endeavor. Uh, they made your education a priority. They elected to allow you or pushed you to come to PTAC. They keep you on the path. And occasionally, they most likely are one of the biggest reasons that you're an exceptional student and an invested member of our community. Over the past 16 or 17 years, they've encouraged you, they've guided you, and probably even grounded you, but it was all with a focus on your success. Continue to think for yourself while evaluating sage advice from others. And, and, and. <laughs> Uh, it will help you further down a path, it will lead you further down a path of opportunity and making you a leader and a difference maker in this world. So thank you and congratulations to all of you on this prestigious honor. You make all of us at P-Tech proud. Miss Anna Marie Brady, and to our and upcoming advisor, Miss Erin Monahan, for their hard work in organizing this year's induction ceremony. I would also like to thank 
Ms. Mo uh, Mr. Mike Ruckovin for Kavina for preparing today's program, and Mr. Eric Titchy for photographing today's ceremony. Please join me in thanking them with a round of applause. I'd like to thank everybody for attending the NHS induction ceremony. I'd like to thank Nick Williams for his ability to get up here and his leadership with this ceremony. Uh, new inductees, the certificates serve as a memento of this day. Please display them proudly. We will conclude with some pictures for Mr. Titchy. Uh, please join us for refreshments after pictures. Thank you for attending. Thank you, Robin. Thank you, Leo. And everybody for attending.